Good morning, everybody. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name's Taylor, and today we're going to be going over our 2018 Newmar Dutch Star. It's a 3718 floor plan, so let's get right into it. First off, I wanted to show you our side blind spot camera right here. Sliding on over, we have our aluminum wheelbase here with our Michelin tires. And I also wanted to go over our front axle here. So we have a ZF independent front axle. So that's gonna be, it's gonna help you with easy maneuvering and less backing up because it gives you that 60 degree wheel cut. Right next to it, we have our dual fill, 100 gallon uh, gas, geez, diesel <laughs> uh, fuel tank right here. That is dual fill. And then we also have one on the other side as well, which I'll show you. We have our marker lights right here. Our first bay. And then our second bay here has a manual roll out tray. Love these trays, especially when they're manual, just because when you have things rolling around there, you won't have to actually climb all the way in there to get something out. Third bay here, just a perfect little work shop with some tools with the cork board up here so you can get creative with how you'd like to store things in here. Another bay here, we have our handy dandy dirt devil right over here, so our central vac, which you can also plug in to vacuum outside and your tow vehicle. Whoops. Alrighty, now that we're over here on the rear, I just wanted to talk about the axles again here. So we have the Detroit DARS axle, which also has V ride air suspension, so that's just uh, going to give us a better more leisure drive. It isn't going to be super bouncy. Oh, that one did not want to open. All right, we got another little cubby here for some storage and then also that light up in there for when, you're, for when it's dark. In our last bay on our passenger side here, we have our chassis batteries and then also our power disconnect. <clears throat> Alrighty. Now that we're back here in the rear of the coach, I'll go ahead and pop open so we can see our chassis. So it's going to have a Cum uh, Cummins L9 turbocharge. And then the transmission is going to be a 3000 MH Allison, which is a six speed automatic. And it's going to have 450 horsepower. And then for that hitch, it's going to be 5,000 pound towing capacity. And then we also have our seven pin connector. Also, since we're talking about Freightliner and we're back here, I did want to just mention that you can also purchase a camp Freightliner, um, kind of like a subscription. So you can either do classes online or you can go directly to um, where they build the chassis and kind of have a little workshop, ask as many questions you want, get one-on-one -on -one customization with them. And then it also offers um, discounts on parts and labor. And then you also have uh, nationwide rallies that you're invited to. So I kind of like how that gives you a little bit of a homey feel. You can get to know other people that have freight liners and get together and go camping and all that kind of stuff. And then also there is 450 um, FCC locations. So no matter where you're at, you're gonna be have that accessible. And then you also have that 24 seven app, which is open and you can use it 365 days a week. So no matter what, when you're camping, even if it is a holiday, Freightliner is there for you. And sometimes, especially with, oh, here's an 800 number that you get a call. I personally get on like the defense because I'm like, okay, how long am I gonna be on hold before I actually get to talk to someone and just get more frustrated, especially when you're in a pinch with a chassis issue and you're kind of flustered they do, they're always improving, so don't hold me, hold me against, hold this against me. But the last time I did talk to them, they were working on about 30 to 45 seconds before you actually talk to someone directly. Um, so that actually means a lot. Things are always happening and they're always evolving, but they're always trying to get it better each and every day. And they have a great team there to kind of help troubleshoot. Even if you just have an engine light on and you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I should drive. And you're just kind of nervous because you don't want to make 
something if something's already wrong you don't want to make it worse you can just easily call them and say hey i have this light on you can send them pictures and stuff like that and they can just you know calm you down let you know this is the nearest service center don't worry you'll totally be fine to drive there or they can just get someone to come out and check it for you so there's many options there but freightliners always by your side all right so we have the rear side mount radiator here so that's just going to help excel that breathability for the chassis and then right next to it we have our def tank which is going to be 10 gallons and you have a little cubby here i mean you could use how you'd like but i would probably put my little slinky in there for your dump tanks because it does have a hole directly in the bottom so if there is any excess fluid or nasty stuff it will just automatically drain out and i love having that little hole too because you can just shoot a hose in there and rinse it out and you won't actually have to physically scrub and try to get stuff out of it um, so i thought that was pretty neat Over here, we have our 50 amp shore power cord, and it also does have that power reel. So I love when I see a power reel. That definitely saves, saves you many times. And then we have that surge guard protector, just to make sure we're having a healthy charge and we won't be kind of catching stuff before anything happens. Right above that, we have our escape door, which is gonna be located. This is a mid bath coach, but we'll get into that once we get in there. Just wanted to show you what it looks like exterior. This is going to be our wet bay. So we have this outdoor shower right here. Hot and cold, our sewage rinse. We have a nice little um, paper towel holder. This is going to be where our filter goes. And then we also have that hose right here that is on a power reel as well. So it definitely can reach that little box that we we're talking about that you can kind of hose out um, to make it clean. And then our dump takes are right here. You'll just open this little hole here guide it through and then you can go ahead and dump and close it off so we'll make sure no critters get in there while when you're storing it or anything like that all right so this is going to be our oasis the hydronic heating system which will give you automatic hot water well on demand hot water it's great very well known and also helps with consistent heat and temperature one of the most reliable ones out there here's another smaller bay door here and then now we have six interstate batteries and then we also have our propane tank here which is going to be 22 gallons most coaches are kind of going all electric but having the comfort of having some propane if you don't mind filling it on board it can definitely help you out there when you're boondocking also too i don't think we'll be able to actually see them but we do have um detroit drawing a blank on the name hold on uh they're tuned sack shocks which are also on the rolls royce so that's very well known and these um, shocks are much better for a better drive also with that v-ride um, and it decreases wear and tear of your coach so the longevity of a coach having that stability there will definitely help Alrighty, our last little, a lot of stuff's going on here, so it could be a little overwhelming, but we do have some extra fuses in here, just in case you do blow a fuse, you can easily uh, color coordinate them, which are also numbered, and kind of take it out, stick it in, and kind of fix those little things as you're on the go. And then, whoops, this is the little pull for the generator that's in the front. You go ahead and pull it out, and it'll pop up, and you can just see the generator. Whoops. All right. Let's we'll get a nice, beautiful front shot. And before we go inside, I did just want to mention that these are custom paint job on here. So you won't, it's very unlikely that you're going to find a duplicate out there. Alrighty, now let's head on inside. Did want to just show you these lovely storage compartments. So you're gonna have two of them, perfect for dog leashes or even your shoes. When you have one up here, that's a little bit deeper. And then this is what's gonna come out to kind of make that floor level when you guys are going down the road. All right. Before we get too into the living area, I just wanted to kind of show you this control panel 
bunch of different panels, but we have our awning controllers right here to extend and retract and then also turn our lights on. Right here, just gonna give us an overview of our fresh gray and black tank. The fresh tank is gonna be 105 gallons. The gray tank is 65 and your black tank is gonna be 45. And then in the corner, you have your house and chassis battery charge. Up here, we have some security lights. You have your block heaters, which are great for Colorado. You wanna make sure that, um, you're protecting those most valuable things from freeze damage. You have your exterior lights. Down below, this is gonna be your 2000 watt inverter. It's a magnum energy saver. Over here is gonna be for our Oasis controllers that we saw outside. We can turn our burner on and off, AC one or both ACs, and then your engine preheat. Right over here is gonna be our slide controllers. And then up here is just our power control system, which will show us um, an overview of all of our voltages and so forth. Um, and then this is also prepped for solar. So you, now we'll go ahead and extend those slides. While we were watching those slides open and we're seeing the interior, I did want to just let you know this is a Sedona decor. And then we have the Bermuda glazed maple wood. Make sure that slide goes all the way down. And then now we'll do our passenger side. And then I also forgot to mention too, just about that generator. It does have an automatic generator start. Um, which will automatically turn on when you have low battery voltage or just to kind of help with those temperature settings. So if you have your AC running or your heat and you're kind of away, um, your generator will just go ahead and pop on for you to keep that consistent temperature for you. We have two more additional slides over here in the bedroom. So it definitely opens up that master bedroom area. Now we'll be doing the bed one. Alrighty, now that we have it all opened up, show you we have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. Love how it's nice and hidden away. We do have an extra latch right here so that kind of won't slide open while you're driving. Definitely don't want that happening, but I did already bring it up just so I didn't forget and then break it off. Um, but we do have nice little carpeted cubbies in here, perfect for shoes or anything you kind of want to fold, keep nice and tucked away as well as some, um, st well, this is just for your breakers, so a nice little control panel back here, um, but you can put a few things in there if you'd like. And then you have one more right here. Keeps it nice and hidden. And this last one is just one that you have to pull up, but it's kind of just more of an access point um, for that washer and dryer, just in case you're having any issues. Um, the tech can get there without having to take the whole thing out. Alrighty, and then over here we do have a safe 
Love having safes in here, especially when you're uh, traveling cross country and you want to keep your passports, extra cash, anything in there that you just don't want out in the open. Um, just because it will keep it safe even if the worst comes to worst and someone does break in. At least you know these items are protected. And then a nice little um, rack up here and a light. Sorry, I probably should have turned that on first. I forgot to do that. Um, but it is a little manual switch right here for your on and off. Alrighty, while I'm on this side, you do have a nice little um, compartment right there. Perfect little tissue box and a bottled water with also two plugins right here to charge your phone. While it's sitting right there, I'll open these up. Just so you can kind of see them. They are nice and carpeted and they're through and through. There's no dividers in there. Um, so you could definitely put in a little bit longer things. Doesn't have to be the width of the opening. And then these windows over here, they do slide open so you can kind of get nice fresh air. And now I'll just go ahead and open these up for you so you can kind of see how big they are. And that's just the opening so you can put any DVD players or anything like that in there for your TV. Nice counter space in here as well. Perfect. You definitely have a lot of storage space in here. Very deep drawers. So even though it is a 37 footer, you definitely have plenty of storage um, to travel cross country for as long as you'd like. And then also before we go into the bathroom area, I just wanted to show you the nice little pocket door here to give you some privacy. And it does kind of lock in place. You have to push this down before you open it again. And then now we're going into the bathroom. So you have two sinks here, nice little towel racks as well with a beautiful medicine cabinet. And then I personally love how they put the little charging outlets right here inside of the actual medicine cabinet instead of out here just because, you know, looks a little more clean, just the perfect black, the backsplash and tile. You don't just have like an awkward outlet right there. And then some more storage underneath. And Numar always gets every little crevice here for a drawer or any storage that you can possibly fit anywhere. Um, so you have this is for that... Um, central vac and your kind of built-in vacuum so we just stored that there and then we have three little cubbies here that are pretty long Alrighty, one of my favorite things is the backsplash inside the shower i love the marble i love that it has a little seat and then you have the nice little exterior lock here so this isn't flying open too while you're going down the road because that would be tragic and then for the shower system you do have this blue bubble is an automatic giveaway that you have that um aquamizer so it kind of it'll sh glow red once your um reaches temperature like i don't want to say a degree of temperature because that just sounded awkward but um whatever, wherever you put it to how hot you want it'll glow red so you kind of don't have that consistent running to kind of reach up to temperature wasting all that water and then this little handy dandy thing too is perfect just to rinse off your feet when you're at the beach or anything like that. You have a nice little stool here. And then you have the perfect little cutout right here to put any shampoos or soap conditioner. Sliding over here, here is that escape door that we showed as well exterior. So you just want to make sure you unlock it, pull it open, and then you'll um, release a little ladder. You can use it more than once. It's not a one time and it's done. Um, so that's the uh, beauty about it as well. We have our little lights right here, our water pump, and then our bath as well, and then our little Dometic flushing system, and our nice little toilet paper holder. One last little cubby. The shelves are interchangeable, but I mean, this is plenty of storage for, you know, towels, your robe, anything like that. And here is our little central vac system right here where you'll go ahead and um, you can connect it right here. And then once you get a little pile, you just open that up and you can sweep it right in there and it'll suck it all in. 
And then here is our other pocket door. Nice little accents, kind of closes everything off so you have nice privacy whenever you're showering or using the restroom. And then now we'll go ahead and get into the kitchen area. Another adjustable shelf. And then whoops, little tiny drawers here, but you have four of them, all the same size. And they have the little latches right here too, so it'll lock once you push it all the way in. So it's kind of takes a little oomph to actually open it, um, but that's great for when you're going down the road. You don't want these kind of popping open. All right, and then here's just some because our microwave is convection, so we have our little utensils here for to make that convection. And then our last drawer right here with all of our remote controls. Perfect for silverware. And then our three burner cooktop here. And I, I like how it's, you know, you can completely remove it if you want, but I like how it kind of just stays there stationary. So when you take it off, you don't kind of have to really find a place for it. Numar always has it, you know, they'll put little shelves in here where you could store it, but I kind of like the one that folds a little bit more than the ones that are out now. Up above that microwave, it's what I like to call a beautiful spice rack. And over here, we have two of the drawers that kind of lock in place. But this is perfect for um, a little bit of our shorter customers, you know, that can't completely reach all the way back. I'm pretty tall and I still can't even reach all the way back, so these are perfect. And then this is uh, adjustable too, so you can adjust it to your height depending on what, how tall the things that you want to put in here. You can kind of have it a little higher if you know want extra mustard or ranch bottles. You don't want to have to lay them down. Oh, did want to just point up here. You have just some labels in here for your VIN and then just some important notices too. But over here with your Numar, it kind of gives you all the colors. So if you have any chipping or anything like that, you can just send this to Numar and then they can send stuff directly to you if you have any rips or tears or anything like that. And then there's just some more overview to stickers. That's just little handy dandy notes that you'll need along the way. I honestly love when the sink is like this. Um, it's a big single sink so you don't have the divider which can be a downfall but I mean also too if you have kids then you'll be loading up that sink quite fast. So it kind of sucks when there is a little divider and it just gets chaotic. You can keep it a little bit more organized uh, when it's one single. Um, but just kind of, I love how it, it's just like a U-shaped, you know what I mean? When you're cooking your sink, instead of having it all right here, sink right here just gives you so much more counter space. And it kind of just secludes the whole kitchen area. So this is all kitchen and up front is all dining. It kind of just separates the two so it's not like a kitchen and a dining room all together. I don't know. I just personally like the feel much better. And then we have the Winne uh, sorry, Whirlpool. I almost said Winnebago, geez. <laughs> and then um, a little ice rack right here and then some more drawers to store. And then you have your little lock mechanism right down here as well. And then water. Here is our pantry, again with these beautiful drawers inside the pantry to keep everything organized. And they do lock in place. So tons of space there for pantry and all the goods. Over here is the TV. And then I forgot to set this up after we open those slides. But we can put our two chairs here, kind of open it up, make it look all nice for you. And then this does create into a four seating arrangement as well. Um, kind of different because it's at an angle, but like I was saying too, this kind of just secludes it where it's a nice living area and then your kitchen is by itself. Also, the cool thing about this is just because once you pull that chair in where I had that, it kind of... You don't have to really worry about the chair sliding everywhere or kind of sliding to one other side. And then this also, it moves, it's anchored down. But when you put the chair right next to it, you don't have to worry about it swaying when you're going down the road. Kind of just all buckles together here perfectly. 
Um, but I did want to show you too, there is some storage underneath here, which is something you don't really get when you get a booth dinette. Um, it's only when you get the chairs. And then you also have some under here, which is pretty big as well. I have a love-hate relationship with the chairs. I used to be like, oh, why would you want that? Because then the chairs slide around, but you honestly get so much more storage. So it's kind of a, a give and a take situation, but you have a lot more um, movability too with the chairs. You don't have to keep them like with a boot dinette. You can't move that chair. So this, you have a little bit of flexibility to kind of use your chairs anywhere you'd like. <clears throat> now I'll just slowly open these so you guys can kind of see. It is all carpeted as well very deep for that corner cabinet as well. And we got two more right here. And these are actually boxed in, so you don't, they're not uh, through and through. Little side cabinet, but these are also all connected. And then you got your TV cords and all that in there for your satellite and so forth and you have another some more manuals in here for the Dutch star and then you also have your chassis owner manual in there so I'll just go ahead and sit right here you have a little plug-in right here so if you need to plug in your laptop computer charge your phone or tablet anything while you're kind of hanging out right here you can um, these windows they just pop open you can get nice fresh breeze right here. And this is also another emergency exit. So we have three openings in a 37 foot coach in case something does happen. So that's great for safety. And then right over here, I just wanted to show you the last little cubby here for some storage. And now we'll slide over here to our very big couch I'm sorry, I don't know the exact length of it, but it's an extended couch. The same kind of um, cubby right here. And this bed is actual, well, it's a bed that pulls out. So it's actual mattress under there. You'll go ahead and pull it out. So you could sleep comfortably four adults in here. Or two adults and three kids could fit on this bed. And I'll just go ahead and open these storage compartments for you guys just so you can kind of get an overview. <clears throat> and then you have your light switches over here as well. Oops. And then here is your Dometic for AC and heat. So this is where your, your little controls are, where you can turn on zone one and zone two. And go ahead and set the temperature. And now we'll go ahead and jump up here. Fire up. All right, so over here we have our HWH, which is our automatic leveling system. Over here is for our window. We have our engine brake, which you can turn on or off. And then once it's on, you can have it high, medium, or low. This is just our controllers right here for reverse, neutral, and drive. Over here is for our mirrors. We can kind of set them. Our lights, bright or dim. Our fog lights, our parking brake. And then our, another uh, light bar control right here. kind of got our speedometers and up here it's just kind of kind of show us an overview so we can use this little toggle to go down and kind of check our tire pressure um, our tow vehicle leveling jacks engine maintenance kind of go through all the little things and then we have our speedometers down here uh, very basic on the steering wheel we can adjust our lights turn on our wiper blades um, and go ahead and turn more lights here you can go ahead and set the radio well set for the cruise control so this is equipped with cruise control. You can go ahead and turn it on and off right here, set it and then high or low, or just push the cancel button to co uh, totally turn it off. Now over here, we have our little Voyager system for our cameras. And then just the menu, it doesn't do much, just for the brightness change, your contrast and also your color. 
and then you just select it by pushing this button. What's cool about this, it also does have the volume, so not only can you visually see, but you, if you have someone spotting you, you can actually hear what they're saying as well, um, instead of having to use a phone and calling. Sometimes you never know when you're backing up, something could still happen even though you have a spotter. And then over here is just your radio system, which you also have navigation. All of these buttons down here are just for your dome light. Your pedals, which will move closer or further away from you. Your air horn. Battery boost, which is great if you're kind of in a pinch, you need to wake up those house batteries. You can use your chassis battery to kind of fire them back up. Our gen start and stop. Our fans, we can turn those to high, medium, or low. Our visor, which is going to be the front. And then our shade, which is also going to be our front. Uh, courtesy lights, stock lights. And then this is for your fans, high, medium, and low, and then you have your entry lock. I do want to fair warn you, when you do this, you just want to be careful. It will completely lock you out. Like this trumps your keys. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Weird situation. But um, it's just kind of for a safety thing. You don't want to lock it, go to bed, and then someone's still kind of entering and won't let you enter, which is nice. Here is your AC and heating, and then also your defrosters, and then you have a nice little cubby here put change or any of those little things that you want handy while you're going down the road um, but let's see I believe that was all I wanted to just give you the mileage on this baby okay so I have 15 oh geez <laughs> everyone's awake now okay 15,221 miles but um yeah what a way to end a video huh <laughs> <laughs> just totally scare myself. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, my name is Taylor. I'd be happy to help. Um, give me a call at 970-388-7937. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.